Hi everyone, today we're going to go over copyright and intellectual property. So what's intellectual property? All intellectual property really is, is the things or the creations that you make and the creations that a company makes. Copyright makes sure that everyone knows that you made those creations and that no one else takes credit for it. Now copyright law can get complicated and not everyone knows the rules. Luckily, we have copyright experts that can help sort things out. Because of how easy computers let us copy and download things from the internet, sometimes we might think it's okay to use someone else's creation. It's not. But you know how I said things could get complicated? Sometimes you can use someone else's creations, but we'll get to that in a second. Why is copyright important? Why can't I use a picture or a song that I find online when I make my own videos? Well, first off, how would you feel if a book that you wrote gets used by somebody else? Or if that person doesn't ask for your permission? Or maybe they even sell it and you don't get any of the money. If we all follow the same rules and we respect each other's creation, then chances are that our creations in turn will be treated in the same way. Think of it this way. You wouldn't copy anyone's homework, would you? Okay, I won't copy others' creations. But if I'm at school and I'm doing a project on lions, am I going to have to take a picture of a lion myself? Good question. And this is one of those complicated parts I was talking about earlier. When you're at school, the rules are a little more flexible. That way we learn from what others have done. So no, you don't have to take pictures of lions yourself. One of the things that you can do is look for pictures under the Creative Commons license. What is Creative Commons? Well, as a group of people that got together and said, hey, I don't mind if someone used my images of lions. As a matter of fact, I would love for everyone to use my pictures of lions. I love lions and I hope everyone loves them as much as I do. Well, I love lions too. And I too have lots of pictures. And I have lion sounds as well. And so a group of sharers made their creations for everyone to use. Ah, well, that's really nice of them. Yes, it is. Contributing to Creative Commons helps everyone out. There are also guidelines that your teachers need to follow, and when you go to college, there'll be other guidelines as well. How am I supposed to keep track of all this information? If you're confused about how to use somebody else's work, there are experts that can help you out. You can start by talking to your teacher or librarian. They will tell you more about fair use, and they will usually ask you a set of questions, like, why do you need to use such work? Are you going to be making money from this? Will that keep the original owner from making their own money? Okay, I get it. That's not too hard to remember. I know. But the thing is, sometimes you think you're following all the rules and you still might get in trouble. What happens then? If it's really complicated, sometimes a judge has to make a decision. And sometimes, if someone doesn't like the decision, Everyone has to go and see a judgier judge. Wow, that's a lot of info. Yes, it's a lot. And we didn't even cover certain topics, like who owns the rights of content if an educator is working for a school? Or if you mix parts of two different songs, is it now a new song? Or what if somebody from a different country starts selling your images? But like I said, if you have questions, there are a lot of people that you can ask for help. Plus, if you remember to use Creative Commons or ask for permission, you're on your way to becoming a responsible content maker. Thanks for watching.